we're back. Now what we want to do is we've got the holes drilled. There's our two dots. There's the slot that was used as our reference. This hole at the one o'clock position is the smaller of the two holes. It's for the LED. This hole at what we would, would call the 11 o'clock position is the larger and it's for the cable. Um, I use this utility knife and I just get down in here and if there's any little burrs sticking out on the inside of the holes then I try to knock them off as best I can. There's two objectives here. Num one obviously to get the burrs out of the way of our work but the second is to make sure that the burrs don't fall off at a later date inside the probe and cause an electrical short across a pair of balls or something like that uh, causing the probe to malfunction so we'll just have a look here and see what we got this is a little and put it back together and be sure to put it back together with the bottom cap opposite the dots that you have made on the lip of the body. Okay, just give it a good hand tightening that like that. You want it to be able to come apart now once we're finished we don't want this bottom cap to come off because if the bottom cap if we were to unscrew the bottom cap we would tear apart the solder joints the of the LED and the cable uh, so basically once we get this thing put together with the LED and cable in place and soldered in place inside this bottom cap needs to stay in place but if something were to happen we can always clip these leads in here and unscrew the bottom cap make any repairs that we need to and then put it back together uh, it's probably a good idea to have a spare a few spare three millimeter LEDs because if you clip one it's more than likely not going to be reusable okay now we Come to the next part, and that is installing the LED and the resistor. For from this point forward, we can use regular electronic solder. Uh, I think this is about thirty thousandths. I believe it's uh, sixty-three thirty-seven with a rosin core. You don't need to use, and nor you should you use, the uh, 964 at this point in time because in order to use that solder, you would also have to use the flux that came with your kit, and you don't want to get a flux inside this at this point that needs to be washed off if you can keep from it. Uh, if you have to clean it out you can do it there's nothing inside here that water's going to hurt but you're just going to have to if you do clean it out for some reason you're going to have to let it dry uh, definitely overnight uh, blow as much of the water moisture out of it as you can I'm assuming you're not going to want to take it apart in order to dry it use a hair dryer to move air around it whatever but you do need to get the inside dry if for some reason you decide that you need to be washing in here. Okay, on the LED, uh, I know you're probably not going to be able to see this, but the longer of the two leads is the positive lead. And what we're going to do is we're going to solder the resistor to the negative lead of the LED. Now I've got my little handy fingers here and I use them to 
help me accomplish this task. Now you can do this however works for you. For me, I just put the LED in place and grab my soldering iron. And about a quarter of an inch down from the bottom surface of the LED onto the lead, I just pre tin the lead of the LED in that area. Just a quarter of an inch approximation is all that's needed. Then I take the resistor and I bet about a quarter of an inch from one end or another of it I solder I tin it okay now then I just take these areas that I've just tinned and I cross them at 90 degrees a little excess solder on my soldering tip okay and that's that here's what it looks like at this point We've got the negative lead of the LED, that's the shorter one, about a quarter inch down from the body of the LED, quarter inch of lead remain uh, out from the resistor, and a solder junction between those two items. And then we take our clippers and very carefully clip those two leads. Here we've clipped off the excess of one end of the of the resistor, and be sure to clip only the negative lead of the LED at this time. Okay, so there we have the subassembly of the LED and resistor. Next, we're going to pre-bend the positive LED lead and what we want to do is come again about one quarter of an inch from the bottom of surface of the LED body onto the lead and we want to bend that 90 degrees away from us there we have it 90 degree bend Okay, now we're going to do a dog leg. And this time we want a little bit more than a quarter of an inch, about five sixteenths. And we want to do a dog leg. And again, approximately 90 degrees. So here's our dog leg. Okay. Then I'm going to cut off and leave about just cut off about a half an inch of that lead and we want to cut off about a half an inch of the resistor lead don't cut off too much we can always trim a little bit more later 